speech, please welcome America's number one YouTube and social media star, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, by way of Ohio, introducing the Maverick, Logan Paul! Yeah. Okay. Lil CC on that beat. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, where the fuck should I really even start? I got hoes that I'm keeping in the dark. I got my niggas cross the street living large. Thinking back to the fact that they dead, thought my raps wasn't facts, so they sat with the bars. I got two phones, one need a charge. And now, ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the dais, please welcome the United Kingdom's number one YouTube and social media star, fighting out of Watford, England. He's known as the Nightmare, K.S.I. Cause I ain't never seen me fall under pressure They ain't never ever seen me fall, nah, never Always keep on up on them cause I'm too clever I will never ever sell my soul, nah, never Cause I've been on the road and on the road, I Quit acting like you've been with me this whole time Cause I've been on the road and on the road, I Quit acting like you've been with me this whole time Kill that bet on my fall And I'm only 24, but bitch, I've been through it all I got so many hits, can't remember them all Taking the shit, look at the plaques on the wall Y'all just sit back, put your kick back Keep on acting like you did that Got no respect for nobody who's just faking life hey, hey, You ain't really who you say you are So pick up the past, there ain't no slow at me And now, ladies and gentlemen The president of Matchroom Boxing USA Mr. Eddie Hearn Thanks, David, and thank you, uh, Logan and KSI. The difference between this press conference, of course, no public this time, so no Bibles, no contraception, no Vaseline flying through my head. And uh, it's been an incredible build-up. I've got to say, I've learned so much in the build-up to this fight. I've been promoting boxing for over 10 years. I've been around the sport for 30 years. I've never seen anything like this before. The numbers that I've seen in the build-up to this fight, the pre-registration numbers that I'm seeing on DAZN, who are exclusively streaming this fight across the US and all their territories on Sky Sports in the UK, on fight.tv, is unbelievable. Countries that I didn't even know knew about the sport of boxing tuning in to watch this extravaganza. And I want to thank particularly the fighters and their teams for the access that they've given us, because even some of the most traditional boxing journalists, I look particularly at the a corner of Mike Coppinger and Lance Pugmire were just debating with me who's going to win this fight on Saturday night. And I think that's the intrigue. Two guys that are not professional boxers, but two guys that have dedicated their recent lives to the sport of boxing, stepping out in front of thousands at the Staples Centre, millions around the world to have a fight. I've said it before, people might be getting bored of it, but no head guards, 10 ounce gloves. This is for real. That's turned into a meme in itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is for real. And the impact that it's going to have on their career is a great one. And we thank everybody for embracing it because on Saturday night, as a boxing fan, we have the opportunity for a new audience to witness our sport. Not just these two guys, but world championship boxing on the undercard. Devin Haney, Billy Joe Saunders, some of the best fighters in the world. And we hope that the new audience, millions watching this particular stream, fall in love with the sport that I fell in love with, fall in love with the sport that these guys have fallen in love with as well. And that's very important to us. And um, I can't wait for Saturday night. I have no idea what's going to happen. And today we get a chance to do a proper press conference for the media and ask some proper questions. And before we do that, I don't know if you watched the press conference in London with True Geordie, but Joe Markoski, the Vice President of the Zone, and Adam Smith got up to talk. Um, it was the shortest speech I've ever heard from any broadcaster. It lasted about two seconds each. So they got a chance to do it for real this time and talk about their experiences and their excitement ahead of Saturday. Firstly, the head of boxing, 
Uh, actually, we're going to go to the Vice President um, from the Zone, Joe Markowski. Thanks, Eddie. Logan, JJ, I think I speak for all of the zone when we say that we've really enjoyed getting to know you guys and your teams over the last couple of months. You've taught us a hell of a lot about the world that you guys live in, and we really appreciate the support and looking forward to a, a fantastic night on Saturday, so thank you. I'll start by saying that I'm continually amazed by the, 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 the engagement and the audiences that these guys drive. It is a completely new world for, for the zone, it's a completely new world for, for many of us in the room. And I think the audiences we've seen both online, live at press conferences on either side of the pond, uh, really speak to that and it's going to be a fantastic event. I'm getting texts from all corners of the world, people saying, can you get my kids a shout out video? Thank you both for doing that. They're slightly distracted right now. But listen, <laughs> we, we've been banging the drum this fall. It's fight season on the zone. Triple G, Canelo, Kovalev, Ruiz, Joshua. Our schedule has been completely packed, but this Saturday is something entirely different. The fight is being covered by all mainstream media outlets, Eddie mentioned, ESPN, CNN, Entertainment Tonight. Eddie and I speak with the New York Times this afternoon. I'm not saying that all the coverage from many of you in the room will be positive, especially the hardcore boxing fans, but it's coverage nonetheless, and that speaks to this, this fight, this event, this promotion, cutting through. And as someone who spent the last year in the US trying to make that happen, that is not an easy thing to do. So we truly appreciate that, and it speaks to the quality of the pro promotion across the board. To these men, Logan and KSI, they truly know how to generate interest. Our social media numbers, our early subscriber numbers are tracking to be extremely, extremely positive. And we welcome all fans in LA, all members of the media, uh, for what's sure to be a fantastic event. So last message from me, if you're in the US, if you're in any of our territories, download the zone, enjoy the fight, and open your hearts to what's sure to be a fantastic event on Saturday night. Thanks very much. Thank you, Joe. And from the UK side, the head of boxing at Sky Sports, Adam Smith. I think Joe said it all. Uh, embrace, embrace, embrace. Changing times in the world. And I think that's what's important here. Fantastic that we had the likes of Billy Joe Saunders and Devon Haney and the great fighters, the great world champions who are on this card. And it's an opportunity for a new demographic, a young audience to come and see the greatness about boxing and why these guys love boxing, why they've chosen boxing and nothing else. I had an interview with the Financial Times yesterday. That's never happened in 25 years on Sky Sports. So it is really cutting through. It's incredible. My kids know about it. They told me about KSI about a year and a half ago. I've had such fun getting to know Logan, going to his house, going to get to know JJ and, and being invited into his gym with Vidal. They've been absolutely fantastic entertainers. Now they want to fight, and we cannot wait. We're working with Joe Weller, with Ethan Payne, with Gibb. It's great. It's a whole new world. Let's have fun with this. Let's enjoy it. It's a magnificent night on Saturday. Guys, it's over to you. Thank you, Adam. I was going to uh, ask the guys questions from, from their stalls, but I want them actually to come up and say a few words. Firstly, the trainers uh, of the two fighters and... One thing that's fascinated me in the build-up to this fight is how close these guys have been to their teams and how much the teams want to win as well. Of course, KSI are very close with Vidal Riley, who's a pro fighter himself, and Shannon Cannon, who's been really quiet in the build-up to this fight so far, um, wants his guy to win as well. There's a lot of credibility on the line for him. So, firstly, we want to welcome up to the dais two-time heavyweight champion of the world, Shannon Cannon Briggs. What's up, guys? Let's go, champ. Happy to be here. Of course, you know you was going to hear that. It's great. Like the guys said, this is great for boxing. This is going to, uh, for years to come, introduce new boxing fans to the sport. Something I've uh, just, my mouth has been watering over this for years now, and it's coming true, and I'm happy to be a part of it. I've uh, been connected through Logan from a friend I met 25 years ago walking down the street, and here we are today. Paulo Moreno, there he is in the crowd. Let's go, champ. Um, thanks to Paolo, you know, we became friends, and here I am now training one of the biggest internet stars in the world. And thanks to KSI, he has the opportunity now to um, embrace on a boxing career that would do a lot for him as, as a man and his maturity and, 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 re and bring redemption to some things that in his life that he's made mistakes in. So this is a great uh, opportunity, and we thank KSI for this. And we're looking forward to, uh, I'm looking forward to, and I think the management team and Logan himself is looking forward to, uh, to uh, Logan becoming 
future champion in the years to come. And people have said, champ, what are you talking about, Shannon? You're crazy. And I'm not hyping it up, and I'm not making it up. I'll say it here, and I'll say it again. This man has ability. He, he has reflexes. He has legs. He has everything, and he's white. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, he's going to be the greatest thing to ever touch because I'm going to go, what? He can't be hit. He got, he got jab. He got, he got everything it takes to be a future champion. I know because I did it myself, and I did it twice. Um, I say that, and I say that with, with you know, with um, – I thank KSI for coming to bring in Logan, which in turn brought me. But you're not prepared for this, champ. Real, honestly, this is something that you took. This was YouTube for you before, but now this is the pro ranks, and you came to this to this to this war with a butter knife as a trainer. You feel what I'm saying? You got nothing going on. He got three pro fights. If that, I don't even know. What are he gonna teach you? He your age. You know what I'm saying? What are he gonna teach you? What experience does he have? We're going to show y'all two friends playing around in the gym, playing around. But guess what he did? He brought in a general. Somebody a savage. This is war. We're going to hurt you. You're going to get beat up really bad. I told Logan, if you don't put this man in a hospital, something wrong. Let's go, champ. Okay, we're going to go over to the, the KSI training team, a guy who... As uh, Shannon said, has had three fights as a professional, very close to KSI. Ladies and gentlemen, Vidal Riley. The butter knife. <laughs> the butter the knife. real life butter knife. Hi, um, happy to be here. It's a mad opportunity, really, because I've been part of this whole YouTube boxing thing from the beginning, from when JJ boxed Joe Willer in Copper Box in London, when no one cared about it, no one wanted to get involved. And it's grown to the point where we've got the likes of Eddie Hearn, the zone, Sky Sports involved. And it's a privilege to be here, you know. There's a lot of bands going on between me and Shannon, but people 50, I don't care about anyway. Uh, and, you know, I'm just excited. I'm really excited. We prepared hard for this fight. Uh, we've done things that we never usually go through. You know, we've pulled out sides of JJ that he's never had to use before. And that's what's going to win him the fight. People want to talk about the jab and reach and, oh, he's got pecs and he's got a six-pack. It doesn't matter. What matters is up here. This has been trained to kill, and now his body will perform it. Uh, yeah, I haven't really got much to say, man. I'm just ready to fight. When it comes to fight week, I haven't got much words. I just smile, enjoy the moment, let him go to war. And Logan, I wish you luck because you will need it. And I'm going to do my part as a trainer to make sure he does as much damage to you as possible. And Shannon, once you... Finish this event, you can go back to taking your drugs and having no contest. Now, see, there you go, being nice. disrespectful. Nice. And you're not ready for it because if I break your fucking jaw right now, you can't do nothing about it. Remember that. Remember that. Remember that. Remember that. If I break your jaw, you can't do nothing about it. Remember that. You're a little boy to me. I'm not scared. You're a little boy to me. I'm not scared. Remember that. Okay, you're a little boy to me. And I'll treat you like that. If I'm, you, a, I'm a little bit lucky. Your old man you'll be me. lucky. Okay. You'll be lucky okay. if you go back to England okay. with your, your jaw being broke. Keep talking. Remember I'm that. I don't give a shit about that. That's on camera. Shannon. You'll be lucky. Enjoy the limelight because it's done for broke. you after this fight. Listen, champ. You ain't got nowhere to go listen, after this fight. We're going to take care of you. Keep wrinkling your face. Keep wrinkling your face. I ain't scared of you. We're going to take care of you. We're going to take care of you. I promise you. We're going to take care of you, champ. I promise you. This old man thinks he's so bad. No one gives a shit about Shannon Briggs. He lost how many years? We got him, y'all. See, this is warfare. This okay. is the pros. They chunks go from YouTube. You ready for war, champ? They not. Talk to him. The one side. Talk to him, champ. The local guy, I guess. The Maverick. <laughs> yeah. Logan Paul. Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. Uh, I'm not a fan of the open format. I think I've said everything I need to say. Um, is there any questions anyone wants to ask me? Perhaps lead me off into something. No, not a single fucking question. Where? How you feeling, champ? Hey, this is the best day of my life. This is the best day of my life. And tomorrow will also be the best day of my life. And Saturday, most importantly, will be the best day of my life. Um, you know, I've thought about that. JJ's got a big heart. The kid works hard. We know that. He's got a big ego, and a big ego is going gonna, is gonna to be his biggest asset in this fight. I think he's going to get hit in the head a dangerous amount of times. I think he's going to suffer some severe health repercussions. I'm surprised your manager let you do this. Is Liam here? He is. Where's he at? Uh, Liam, this is a bit dangerous. Man. I'm surprised you... 
are willing to risk the health and wellness of your fighter for a 10% commission, I think you know very well this is very dangerous for him. I, I, think, I think people are underestimating the year that I've been training while this man was on tour making music, and I think he's actually about to drop a song tomorrow, yeah? I already released it. Okay, with, with Rick Ross, right? And so, baby. so what are you focused on? NSX. So, so what are you focused on? Oh, I can are, you, are, you are you making music? I can multitask. Are you fighting? You can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. And you'll find that out. Oh, you'll see. When your focus has been distracted by releasing music, just like you went on tour, and I'm hitting you in the face repeatedly. Hey, guys, why don't we try asking Logan a boxing question? Let's try that. Let's see, let's see how much he knows about boxing. Sucks, by the way. <laughs> Real quick. Okay. Muhammad hey. Ali is your guy, right? As in, like, what, like, do I know him? No, no, no. no. As in, he, like, he you passed look up away. To him. You look up to him. Are you gonna quiz me on boxing? Well, okay. Let's so this go. is boxing trivia. Oh, no, let's and go. is this why you're gonna beat me in the so, fight? So, do you know who Muhammad Ali fought? Do you know like, like in three general? people? Three people. Uh, I don't want to play this game with you. Okay, there we go. Well, also, how, that, does, how all, is this in any, I, in any capacity? You know. How does this decide you don't know if you're the better boxer than me? When it comes to boxing, you don't know anything when it comes to anything. You don't. You strike me as a dumb person. Do you know what you decapitate didn't means? My question. Decapitate. Talk Four to syllables. Me about boxing. Define decapitate. Let's talk about boxing. Do a simple arithmetic for what me. What are you going to do when what I is, get rid of your jab? What is seven times eight? What are you going to do what is seven when times I get eight? rid of your hook cross? Do you want me to tell you my game plan? Because that would be Why silly of me. Why is your body me. always open? That would be silly of me. Does anyone else have questions he's, besides the guy I'm fighting? He's not answering any of this. <laughs> Why would I tell we're you my game a, plan, the guy? We're having a boxing match. Okay, then, then answer the Muhammad Ali question. Why? I, I don't want to play this game. Because you don't you, know any. I'll answer the Muhammad Ali question. George Foreman. If you tell me what seven times eight is. <laughs> you can't do math. You can't do math. Oh, shit. I can't do it, bro. Oh, sorry, man. It's 56. Shit. Okay, come on. You fucking dumbass. It's great. We're going to go to questions from the floor shortly, anyway. He doesn't know arithmetic. We're going to welcome Sorry, up the uh, UK I'm side of this fight. Ladies and gentlemen, to the dais, KSI. <laughs> Yo, what's up? It's your boy. All right. So, obviously, with this camp, it was one of the toughest things I've ever done in my life. I'm, you know, I've said this a few times in a few interviews. This camp has pushed me to the edge, to the point where I had blood, sweat, and tears. I've never worked so hard in my life. I've never worked so hard training in my life. That's why I keep saying mentally I've reached a new level because I truly have. I've reached a point where I'm not afraid to get hit. I'm not afraid to get punched in the face or you know, take a big body shot. That's good. That's I'm, really good. I'm ready to fuck you up. I hope so. I really do hope I so. I really am. And Remember I know I you're afraid Liam? to get hit. Remember You're afraid to get hit. You can't punch backwards. You're terrible with pressure. So this is, this is the game plan? Oh, I'm just letting you know what's going no, on. No, keep going. I like, I like this. Uh, always open for body shots. Always. Your hands don't really know what they're doing. And your footwork, it's weak. No, it's not. It's not. Yo, it's yo, the yo, first fight. Yo, he, you don't have the speed. Who came to the? Who? You've lost the speed. Who came to the open workout? You've lost the speed. Did anyone see this man jumping rope? I don't even want to do it. It's embarrassing. It's a boxing match. My, my footwork? It's a boxing Who match. Who are you? Okay. You're a YouTuber slash musician. Oh, here we go again. Can we, can we, so can we talk about boxing now? Yeah, let's it's go back here. It's a boxing match. So let's talk about boxing. You're right. You know something. So I'm so proud you, of you. So, okay, explain. So what do you know about boxing? Well, I don't understand. What, you want me to tell you what I know no, about boxing? What happened in the first Answer fight? Answer me what nine times nine is. <laughs> it's 81, you fucking moron. <laughs> Hey, what happened in the first fight? I'm let's glad, talk about the I'm first glad fight. you've uh, done well with the maths, but like, let's let's see your, let's see how you do when it comes to actually boxing. You don't know how to box. We're two That's days away, jab. and trust me, you'll you see. You do not know. You, you know what know. I think? JJ's you're done thinking, a good job. You're of? thinking the jab is gonna do exact same thing that it did last time. It yeah, won't. you think so? Trust me. All right. I'm gonna fuck you up. Okay, I've heard this before. Be, you're gonna be panicking. You think so? I know so? you're already nervous, bro. I know you're nervous. I know I the wish, nerves I is getting to I wish I felt anxiety. Yeah. I wish yeah, I felt yeah, nerves. Yes, you are. It would I make me feel are. human. I know you But are. unfortunately, you're no longer dealing with a human. You're dealing with an animal. Okay, cool. Well, I can't wait to kill this animal then. I mean, I mean, <laughs> actually, you know, I'm not even going to go there. All right, just bring your boy. No, go there, go there. Just wait, just Let's wait. Let's see what happens. 
I think I think I you think JJ's do done shit. a good job do shit. of convincing do shit. his fans that he's shit. a good fighter. Okay. I don't think you've done a good job of convincing yourself. Oh, I've convinced myself. Because I see through this bullshit. Oh, I'm ready. And I remember oh, last year. I'm ready. I all this same no shit, shit was I, said. Yeah, and I wasn't ready. All no this shit. same shit. Ready. Yeah, no shit. I would admit. Oh, I wasn't ready. I why not? Why not? Why not? I didn't know. Why you we? Didn't why weren't you prepared? You didn't show much. I was prepared. For you weren't wise, prepared because I, I didn't I show much. Wise, what kind of championship boxer has that mentality? Well, I mean, you were I just guessing you. that you would have been good enough. I still pretty much beat you. You didn't take. You the belt still from pretty me. much beat me. You didn't you take the belt from me. You was at home. You're supposed to win. What happened? What, what he didn't, happened? He didn't draw. It was your hometown. Yeah. Well, I, majority well, I, 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 draw. I remember. I remember all this same shit was said last year. And the first two rounds, I could not believe how much better of a boxer that I was than this man. Oh, so then what happened? What and happened? so this same thing and, is and happening again. Happened? And then what happened? And then I had an adrenaline dump, and you had the luckiest fucking day no, of your life. No, I didn't. The luckiest no, day of your yeah, life. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Yes, we will. Yeah, we'll T see. T minus 48 hours. I can't wait, bro. I can literally hear your heart oh, thumping really? through the microphone. My heart is very, very low right your now. Your hands are shaking. Nope. No, they're your not. Your fingers are tiny. Woo! Your hands are shaking no, and your fingers not. are small. Okay, well, we'll see. Cool. Small fingers, okay. big forehead. Let's, let's hey, start. yo, let's have some boxing questions, please. That's what I'm got, saying. Got, now, got, one question. I've got, I've got some questions, and then we're going to go Thank to you, the floor Eddie. as well. Thank you. Thank you. KSI, this one for you. Hit me. Hanging around you the last couple of days. Yes. I gave you the question yesterday, which was, you really want to win this fight. I do. But you also really need to win this fight. I because do. Because you know of that. Of course. When we talk about bragging rights, this is probably on another level to anything I've ever seen before. You really have a lot to lose mm -hmm. in this fight on Saturday night. I do know that. And I, that's why I put my all into it. That's why I put blood, sweat, and tears into this, making sure I push myself to the limit. And I've come back a beast. I've I thought you said you didn't bleed. What? I thought you said you didn't bleed. You said that. Yeah, I, do, I don't bleed. So when you say you put blood... Sweat and tears, what do you mean when you say the blood part? Yeah, internally. <laughs> cool, all right, cool. 11 times 11. Yeah. Just... <laughs> it's 121. Yeah, okay. Logan. What am I doing here? <laughs> You're doing maths, apparently. Doing uh, Logan, the, uh, the first fight, you come out like a train. You did, like you said. You, you dumped your adrenaline. Not heard yeah. that before, but yeah, you yeah, definitely yeah. did that. Yeah, yeah. Is it the tank is there this time for six rounds, or do you think that actually you might only need a few fight or a few rounds to end this fight? Um, I, it, should it go the distance? We'll be ready. If it doesn't happen in round one, it'll happen in round two. If it doesn't happen in round two, it'll happen in round three. We've been sparring three rounds, ten three-minute rounds, four different partners, knocking them all out. Every pace? single one of them le leaves home at bleeding. What pace? At what pace, like, how do you measure pace in a boxing match? Like, quick, oh, moderate, intermediate? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Go, no, yeah, I want to know. Like, worry, miles per hour? Don't worry. Don't worry. Help me understand the question. Don't worry. So help me understand. That's how much you know about boxing. Vidal. <laughs> help yeah, me yeah, understand what is the unit of measurement for pace in a boxing match. Five times five. This one's easy. <laughs> 25. 25. Okay. <laughs> Vidal. Yo, what's up? Obviously, what you, you, you were there for the first fight. You saw the first fight. Are you expecting Logan Paul to come out super fast again in this fight and, and like he did in that first fight? I expect him to come out better than he did last year. You know, what he's going to do, we'll find out on the night. You know, boxing's a tactical sport. So whatever he comes with, we have an answer for. If he comes out fast, then good for him. If he comes out slow, then good for him. You know, it's for us to make the adjustment. And uh, he'll be more cautious with his... Uh, stamina this year because you know we gassed out last year but there's ways around that and we've been practicing that so I'm excited. For, for both trainers in this fight you obviously you know you're fighting at the moment Vidal Shannon you've won a world heavyweight title you've both boxed no head guards 10 ounce gloves do you think that both fighters can take the same kind of punishment this time around with the new 10 ounce gloves and no head guards in place? Well that's the thing you know when that first bell goes when they both hit each other there'll be a moment of realization for sure but, you know, it's training them how to deal with those nerves and that anxiety when it happens because they haven't experienced it before. So, you know, we expect them to have a little bit like, oh, okay. Oh, you have a spot with no headgear? 
You guys have inspired with no headgear? Let me just finish my question to Eddie. I'm not going to um, let you do so, anything that I want to let you do. Because uh, you know, I don't care about you because I don't know is who it, you are. You know what? This week, I can't be us, man. I can't even lie are you, to you. Are you, you featured talk, on I'm JJ's cool. song? Good. Are you featured? Good, on, are you on it too? Or? No, I wish I was, but I'm yeah, not. Yeah, I do. I bet you do. I, Instead wish, of boxing, I wish a lot of things, right? man. I wish you'd let me speak, but you ain't going to fulfill that. So. No, nah, probably not, bro. Because this is my country, and I'm going to beat the shit out of your fighter. God bless America. Facts. True. God bless America. God bless America. Shannon, to yes, you, brother. Yes, brother. the difference this time around with no head guards and 10-ounce gloves. You see the first fight, the shots that both guys took. Yes. Can't be doing that this time around. No, not at all. And if you look at the fight, you can see that uh, Logan is a very polished boxer. Thanks to Milton LaCroix, who came in within three months, he was able to, to make him into a, a, a sharp boxer. You guys, boxing fans, you know, you look at the fight, you can see my guy's got a great jab, a phenomenal left hook, a beautiful straight right hand. He's got all the tools. What he didn't have in his game, we put in his game now. He can mix it up, he can slug it out and if he want to, but why would he with a guy, y'all seen the fight, he can't fight. Look what he was doing. <sighs> oh, swinging How's wild. his inside you game? You feel me? Forget, you can't even fight inside or outside. I know what I'm talking about, champ. I I'm keeping see. it real with you. you. You're not even allowed spirit. in the ring about talking about I inside and outside. I can't break your spirit. This guy ain't even allowed to fight. Why you say that? I'm not allowed to fight. I Where? have no problems getting a license. Where? Anywhere in the world. Why are you? Who told you that? You, you misinformed anywhere because in the world. you're not from... You're not from this world, okay. but you're welcome to this world. Now you're gonna find out. In this world, okay. we play rough. Thank you for welcoming me. We're gonna beat the, the shit channel. out you, out the ring, let alone in the ring. We gonna don't get talk you. Like, don't talk like that. <laughs> we gonna get don't you. Don't talk Jack. like that because yeah. it's about the fight. Let them talk about the fight. Don't talk about. And the fight, don't my talk boy, about my, hey, my you, boy got the gonna, beautiful jab. You're gonna say sorry. Yeah, we gonna, we gonna, you're gonna okay. regret this. You're gonna apologize. You're gonna regret this. I'm gonna say sorry when your eyes closed. I'm gonna say sorry when your eyes closed. That's the only way I'm gonna apologize. We gonna make change out of you. That's the only apology that's coming from you. You, 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 y'all messing with the wrong people. This is real. This is a pro division, y'all. This welcome to welcome from YouTube to the pros, man. You have a mic. You don't need to shout. We gonna mob you, champ. If you have a mic, we gonna mob you, champ. Project your voice. You don't need to shout. Don't worry about it. That's how I talk, brother. Don't worry about it. It's coming, champ. We can't wait. Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. Thank you, brother. Let's go, champ. Thank you, brother. Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. We were. Uh, That's not, an apology, by the way. We broke him, champ. Let's we go, broke him. Let's I told go, you. Champ. I told you in camp. This is what you be breaking for. people's will. Yeah. They just broke yeah. their yeah. will, champ. That's his Look That's at them, y'all. Look at them. Oh. They broke him, champ. The they broke him, champ. Oh, no. This is oh. going to be a piece of cake. That's... He not ready. As I was That's saying, let me just say this. Let me just finish saying this. My guy's a real boxer. Milton LaCroix, you in the building. Look at him, y'all. He put them hands together with him. The boy got everything it takes. Eddie, for real, you a boxing man. You seen this man fight. You seen him. What could have taught him with his wild caveman style? Nothing. If they try to show him how to fight with the Floyd Mayweather style, and by the way, where's Jeff? They they, they bought Stitch in, but they ain't bring Jeff because it's not that important. They already got the check. Now listen, when they go to do this flame, this Floyd Mayweather style, they're going to get knocked out. Only Mayweather, because of his shoulders, can put that cup up like that. Shannon, you hear me? we're not fighting. Going Let to sleep them talk. We're not hey, fighting. Hey, going to sleep I, I do want to know. I do want to know where, where's uh, where's Jeff, your coach? He ain't coming to the uh, coming paid fight night. Oh, why why, why did he come this whole uh, week? He's just busy. Yeah. He's just yeah. He's busy. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's too just, busy to hang out with his fighter during yep, media week. He's yep. too busy to hang out with us. Do you know what he said about you? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll read it. I have it here. Actually, right, go for it. This is on uh, Metro.co.uk. Did you, uh, did you see this? I think you know what I'm going to say. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm quoting Jeff Mayweather, KSI's coach. It was basically a good thing that I was part of the camp because I did have to harness everybody in and make everyone realize that no matter what, he's not a real fighter. Okay. Ooh. All right, well. You know, your coach said that about you. We'll, we'll see on Saturday. Yes, we he's will. But fighter, then. Is he your coach? I mean, yes. Then why is he saying you're not a real fighter? Am I missing something, or are you not a real fighter? Well, I'm a real fighter. Mm. I know not according I to your own coach, mm. yeah, who trains with you every day for the mm. past month. I Shannon, know clear I your am. phone, man. Stop so. making noises. And you know what else I heard? You know what else I heard? Well, and Vidal yeah, said it. When y'all spar, you know he tries to beat you up so he doesn't get of beat by I that YouTube guy. So he doesn't boxing. get beat by that YouTube guy? It's on, boxing. Man. He, no you one on your him. own team you is taking him, you champ. seriously. You paying him, KSI. You paying him. Of course he ain't going to beat you up. Okay. He ain't teaching you nothing. He's taking your money, this bro. This is an you evil thing for Vidal, Saturday bro. bro. You're going to get hurt, bro. Real Can talk. Someone this man this prepared, man. man. He prepared, Eddie. I'm you're, telling you. You're he prepared. Man. You're literally a hype man. Yeah, with a get vicious punch. With a vicious punch. 37 first round knockouts for a reason. I bring something to the game. Savagery. That's what I bring, savagery. And that's what we come nah, up with you Saturday bring night. Savagery. 
Savage. Me, man. And Savagery. Drugs. Saturday night. Uh, I'm going to be holding them back. I'm going to be holding them back. Let's go, champ. I'm going to be holding them back off you. Jesus. Yeah. I can't wait. What do you bring to the sport, Shannon? Tell them, y'all. What do you say, brother? What do you, what do you bring to the sport? I'm excuse me, brother. What do you bring to the sport of boxing? You just told us. You he just got, told he, us. I'm just he asking you again. Fights. He got three fights. I'm just asking you again. Us, he getting he paid by KSI. He, you said he you get, bring savagery. You I just asked you what you bring. As a fighter, you getting paid to be your friend trainer, and, and you got a career? What kind of career is that? You just answered the question. Why are you wilding? Why are you getting angry? Because I'm serious. It's just, fight night. I it's just fight week. You, what did you just we, say? That's the difference between us Americans. That's why you're coming out with the American flag. Oh, it's an American thing now. Because we savages. Okay, it's an American thing. We savages, champ. That's what we are. We savages. Right, we go okay, hard. Right, and down, that's why we come everyone down, in the man. country. We're going to treat down. you. Okay, We're okay, going to treat you like down, Americans treat down, you. Down, abusive. Sit that's down, what we do. We on, abusing y'all. We abusing y'all while y'all here. Abuse Lennox we Lewis. abusing y'all. Eddie know what this is. You didn't abuse Lennox Lewis. Eddie know what this is. You didn't abuse Lennox Lewis. This is warfare, champ. Oh, okay. Warfare. Yeah, they scared, y'all. How about Vitaly? They scared. Come on, man. I was blessed to fight Vitaly and make millions of dollars. Come on, stop. Jeff will take your belt from you. Who? Did Jeff Mayweather not train your opponent to take hey, your hey, belt I, from Hey, you? I want to talk to KSI. Eddie, do you have any more questions? No, well, I'm done for questions. That's well. it. Just one question yeah, for each of us. I don't know where I'm <laughs> No one has a single question. All right, right here. I like your fedora. Thank you, man. Um, I'm really excited for him on the NDL. I just want to know how you got so good at math. How I got so good at math? Yeah, yeah. Unlike my opponent, I have a very, very big brain. See a bunch of college degrees. Hey, you know, you know you can't wear that bandana in the fight, right? Yes, I do know that. Does that scare you? Big target. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm terrified. Big I'm target. Terrified. I can see. I, 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 I can I'm see. You're still, oh, you, you still slouching. You are still slouching. You're joking, but when you shit. put your hand here, you're shaking. Ah, uh, not my bandana. You know what that's called? Deflecting truth with comedy. Take that bandana off. Take that thing off your head. I mean, I think you've been doing that the whole time, but you know, that's just you. Okay. All right, guys. I mean, get that, I, get that I, final word. Literally, that no, final boxing, word. no boxing questions. Any Unreal. boxing questions Nothing. from the crowd? Unreal. <laughs> I've got one final question for both of you. Fuck me. <laughs> yes. This is a big event, main event, Staples Center. You guys are fighting on the top of a card. You've got champion fighters on the card. You guys are making your pro debuts. Do you guys feel a sense of responsibility with this platform you've been given to the sport and feel you've earned your, your place there at the top of the card? Good question. Very good question. I know. Do you want to answer it first, or should I? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Well, through training-wise, you know, I, I, you know, I definitely, fit, you know, put myself through it. I know what it's like to be a pro fighter, and it's tough. It's tough training twice, three times a day, sometimes, uh, for six days, one day break, and having the the right mindset the whole time. You know, like. I've had times in the camp where, you know, I've, I've wanted, to, I've, you know, I've told myself I don't think I can do this. I've told, yeah, I've told myself I, I think, I think this is too much for me. This is, this is too hard. But you know what? You push through it, because <laughs> you're a tough guy and you're a real boxer, but not according to your coach. Go ahead, finish the question. <laughs> Either way, yeah. I, uh, no, so, I, you know, mentally, I got through it, and I, you know, I realized I can do this. You know, I am a dog. I am a fighter. You know, I always make sure, no matter what, I defend what is rightfully mine, and this is my legacy. And I'm defending my legacy. I'm protecting my legacy, and you're trying to take that away from me. I'm no, 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 I'm not. I'm not, not I'm to. not. I'm not trying. You're not going no, to. No, I'm going to. You're not going to take that away Unfortunately, your legacy ends Trust me, Saturday. I'm going to break you. Everything I do will have intent, and you will notice that, and you will feel that. I would hope so. And you're going to fucking die. D death? Room. Best believe. All right. Yeah. Death, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Big we'll man we'll on keep campus. Civil, please, Look at the cock on this guy. <laughs> Shit. Final question, please. Saturday night. How do you win the fight? People talk about Logan Paul early, KSI late. What happens in the ring in front of millions of people on Saturday night? There are so many ways that this fight could end. I could answer this question and say knockout. I could answer this question and say TKO. I could answer this question and say go the distance. But to be honest, Eddie, it doesn't matter. We're prepared for everything. 
My conditioning is top notch. If you want to go six rounds, we can go six rounds, but I promise that will not be good for your health. Remember what I said, Liam. How big is this win in your world to your career? This is a, this is a personal thing for me. This is a personal thing for me. Um, I definitely want to go out there and secure the victory in violent fashion for my friends, my family, my fans, everyone that's going to be at the Staples Center. But um, to be honest, Eddie, KSI just happens to be the guy in the ring for me. This is the end of a redemption arc that uh, has changed my life. And so for me, the only demon I'm fighting in that ring is myself. And KSI happens to be the man that's across from me. KSI, how do you win a fight on Saturday? Knockout. I'm going to knock him out. I'm going to start fast. I'm going to start fast, real fast. You won't be able to keep up. Deep waters, best believe. My cardio is better than yours. And you know that. Not according to your coaches. You know that. You know they call ours. I'm going to beat the shit out of you. know your coaches you. call ours. Facts. And you're going to be Facts. finished. We spoke to Mick okay, Jeff. Okay, all right, all right, real quick. We spoke to Jeff, by real the way. Real quick. I know you used to spar with people. And uh, your coach told them to ease off a bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 but you don't know that. Where did you get this information from? Oh, you don't from? know that. Where anyway, did you get this anyway, information from? Anyway. Was it the same school that taught you math? Hey, anyway. Six times yeah, six. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, we don't, we, either way. 36. I'm going to knock him out, and you're going to see. Watch, just watch, man. Just watch. Well. You're fucked, bro. Trust yeah, me. Okay, we've heard it before. Okay. Saturday night, Staples Center. Download the zone in the U.S., Sky Sports box office in the UK, Fight.TV in many territories around the world. I don't know what to expect. It's going to be total madness. And I thank you both guys. It's been a learning curve. It's been entertaining. And for one last time, before tomorrow's weigh-in outside the Staples Centre, we go head-to-head -head up here. KSI v Logan Paul, Staples Centre on Saturday night. Do not miss it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Say that I'm tripping when I'm all alone in my jail cell. I tend to get in my feelings.